Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be, is this FTX carnage worth your money? And a rating out of 10 at the end of the video. Before we get into the video, if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Um, will be much appreciated. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the FTX Carnage is a one temp scale uh, nitro car with a Force 18 engine. Uh, out the box, it looks like this, um, which I'll put a picture on the screen now of what it looks like out the box. And, uh, you know, and what I've done is just change the wheels to the black wheels just to go with the paint scheme um, on the body shell that I uh, sprayed up uh, which makes it um, look much more better than the white wheels um, that was on it um, I'll t have a bit of a talk about the engine and then we'll get straight on to um, the parts wise and upgrades so the engine is a force 18 engine um, it's a pull start but you can upgrade it to a roto start a drill start whatever you want to call it and uh, if not then you can get a jump box and you know start it that way that way is completely up to you uh, however, you know, I would strongly recommend um, if you're not using this in your back garden um, and you have no source of a heat gun or hairdryer or something like that, then uh, before you go out on the field, um, you order yourself a heat, uh, an engine heater, which takes a free slipo. Um, and uh, you take that with you just to give your um, nitro carnage um, a bit of heat before you start it up. Um, obviously, if you you know if you just take it out without any source of heat, um, it will take longer to start, and you risk getting blisters as well. <clears throat> um, Obviously, when it does start, um, it is a very good running engine. Do the follow the braking procedure. Um, you know, then you can tune it up. Um, just keep an eye on temperature. Um, just listen out uh, for the sound. If it sounds good, um, it's not bogging or anything like that. And just make sure that you have a thin. Um, visible blue line smoke coming from your exhaust at all times <clears throat> okay so um, obviously with your body shell um, you know the body shells break very very easy you can either get some shoe glue and drywall tape and tape them um, just to make that body shell a bit stronger but uh, you know they're cheap enough to buy I just buy them clear and then um, you know uh, it just gives me a chance to uh, spray them up and uh, you know use them and then break them again but uh, with this one I've done the monster logo um, so uh, you know turned out better than I thought and uh, I'll probably put me other body show on uh, when I do take this out but uh, Obviously, if you want me to use this body shell, then um, you know, just drop me a comment. But uh, you know, it's you know, did take me a while to do, so um, I might put me other body shell on as well instead of using this one. Um, upgrades and parts. Upgrades you can upgrade this really well, so you can do uh, aluminum. Uh, lower suspension arms front and rear you can uh, p get 
aluminum shocks um, and uh, you can get aluminum uh, chassis braces as well um, obviously you've got already got a you've already got a aluminum uh, chassis which um, I have bent so make sure you get a spare one um, you can get a tuned pipe which if you do get a tuned pipe make sure that you get some heat uh, protection um, tape to put on your body shell so it doesn't melt it because the tuned pipe does get very hot um, you can even um, you know with your pull start you can get a aluminum pull start as well um, but uh, that is if you don't uh, sw switch it to a roto start or something like that you can also get uh, carbon fiber uh, front and rear shock towers and you can get um, aluminum body posts which I highly recommend if uh, you do plan on getting one um, but uh, if not you can upgrade the shock towers and everything um, later on also you can have this nitro carnage as a two speed which I will do in the future and uh, find out how good it is um, when I do um, get the two speed for it but uh, that is another thing um, that you can do this RC is reasonably priced and it is you know affordable and cheap so uh, you know parts are cheap parts are always available and uh, even the upgraded parts are cheap and always most of the time available uh, to purchase as well so, um, is this Nitro Carnage worth your money? Absolutely, definitely. It's not just uh, a beginner's Nitro. <coughs> it's not just a beginner's Nitro. Um, even if you're not a beginner, you can still enjoy this Nitro as well. And uh, you can put it to a test and see if it... Uh, actually beats your Traxxas Revo or you know if it beats your HPI Savage um, you know you might be surprised and uh, you know this might beat a Savage but uh, <clears throat> I'll show you a clip of um, this FTX Carnage and the HPI Savage X in a drag race <laughs> Okay, so that was a drag race. Just uh, if you're watching this far and you see it, just um, drop me a comment on who you think won the FTX Carnage or the Savage. Um, FTX are a good RC company um and they are stepping up their game recently and they are bringing out a one cent scale super forza gt rc car 6s brushless now that is going to be a absolutely epic looking um, RC car which is uh, available in blue or red which I will put a picture up now and it looks unbelievable I have seen that um, you can put um, you know hoons on there um, so D-boot hoons uh, which you find on a limitless a f infraction etc you can put the same wheels on the FTX Super Forza GT, which um, will be a good upgrade because 
obviously the wheels that come with the Super Forza GT aren't looking too good but uh, the car looks great and uh, it will definitely be on the channel when I get it so uh, just let me know if um, you know if you're thinking about getting the FTX Super Corsa GT as well <clears throat> okay back to the nitro carnage so um, definitely worth your money it's uh, you know cheap affordable a good beginners car and plus even if you're not a beginner uh, you know upgrades are cheap enough to buy as well you can make it two speed uh, the engine tunes uh, very well it holds the tune well um, and uh, you can have an absolute blast with the RC the only downside is obviously if you don't upgrade it then it will um, you know it will break fairly easy if you have a crash or something like that so I'd we'll just be wary of that <clears throat> if you don't upgrade it straight away you can just make sure you get parts which um, your lower suspension arms on the rear and front just get some spare of them uh, shock towers front and rear just get some spare of them and body posts just get some spare of them um, because that is what will break um, you know the most rating out of 10 Okay, so rating out of ten, it can break. It can it can break really easy, um, but s however, the parts are really cheap enough to buy. Um, the performance of the car is really well. The performance of the car. Uh, it performs really really well and uh, you know the, the engine runs well it holds the tune the only thing wrong with these is that you know it breaks easy so I'm going I'm going to mark it a 9.5 out of 10 so 9.5 out of 10 for the FTX Carnage um just uh let me know in the comments what you think um and uh you know thank you so much for watching if you made it this far and uh till next time then goodbye for now